Happy birthday, everybody. Welcome to Seriously, where we take cereals seriously. My name is Alex, and I eat and review hundreds of cereals a year in order to help you get the most out of your cereal experience. Well, it's Halloween season again, my friends, and every year around this time, General Mills forces their monsters back out of their caves and caskets in order to bring us our annual dose of spooky holiday cereals. Do you consider yourself a monster cereal expert? Because over the course of their storied history, there have been six different General Mills monsters and monster cereals. So here's a little quiz for you. Can you name all of the monsters? Now, of course, you have the classic trio. You can see them behind me. <laughs> Count Chocula, 1971. Frankenberry, also 1971. And Boo Berry, who came around in 1973. But we also have the lesser known characters. Fruit Brute from 1974. Yummy Mummy from 1987. And the newest member of the team added just last year, Carmella Creeper 2023. <laughs> now this year, only four of those individual characters and cereals are back, which is a bummer, but each of those returners has brought someone special with them, their pets, which serve as the marshmallows inside each cereal. Next week, we're gonna make something very special out of those four individual cereals, but today on Seriously, we're looking at this year's special fifth monster cereal. Here it is, Monster's Frightful Friends. This is touted as a monster mashup of all four monsters and all four of their monster pet marshmallows. This is the third time that General Mills has provided us with a combination monster cereal. It all started around Halloween 2021 when, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the monster cereal line, Monster Mash was released, featuring the five characters that existed at that point. Then, last year in 2023, General Mills updated Monster Mash to Monster Mash Remix by adding the sixth character, Carmella Creeper. Now this year's edition is either a downgrade or an upgrade, depending on the way you look at it, because it only has four monsters, but it also has four special marshmallow pets inside. Is that better or worse? I'm guessing worse, to be honest. And even before we dive into trying this mix-up, mash-up, we have to make one very sad point clear. This isn't a true mix of these mostly beloved cereals. The potential here was for a truly wild ride of flavors, including two different fruits, strawberry and blueberry, added to chocolate and caramel. If you wanna see that true monster cereal mashup, you need to check out last year's review where I poured them all into the same bowl. That was great. This isn't that. Instead, this is a fake-out mashup featuring the shapes and colors and marshmallows from each of the four represented cereals, but, at least according to this box, boiling them all down into one generic berry-flavored cereal. What do you think? Is this gonna be worth it? I'd love for you to let me know in the comments if you've tried this cereal and what you thought. Or if you haven't tried it yet, let me know if you think you're gonna pick it up. Because maybe you have the same questions as me. Will this mix actually taste like anything unique? Or was this just a way for General Mills to wring one last monster cereal purchase out of us this year? Will these marshmallow pets actually bring anything new or fun to the table? Or are they just meant to distract us from the fact that monster cereals might be getting a little stale? Friends? It's time to eat some cereal. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, you deserve only treats, no tricks this year. <laughs> would you do me one more favor? Would you like this video? That would really help me out. All right, I think I am ready. I have got my bowl. I've got my spoon. I've got my 1% milk that I enjoy. And of course, I have the cereal of the hour, Monsters Frightful Friends. One thing I am happy to see is that they put the apostrophe in the right place. That's rare <laughs> in American grammar, at least when it comes to signage or branding. So I'm glad they had their copywriter check that. There they all are on the front of the box. And if we look at the back of the box, we can discover the names of their pets. Scratch is a snake. Igor is a spider thing. And then Meowberry is like a ghost cat, like a cat ghost, and so is Benny. Benny is also like a bat ghost. So I don't know why these two turned out to be ghosts. I guess it makes sense with Meowberry because he's Boo Berry's little friend, so they're both ghosts. But why is Benny a, a ghost bat? Who knows? <laughs> All right, let's crack into this thing and see what it looks like in a bowl. Well, let me tell you what it looks like in a bowl. It looks like an even bigger cop-out than I expected. <laughs> not only are these likely not all four flavors, they didn't even attempt to make four colors here. I am really surprised. They obviously have this very green of the Carmella Crunch that's supposed to be a caramel apple 
flavored cereal. And then they have sort of a purple-ish, which I guess is close to blueberry. Uh, so that's two that we have represented. But then there's this like odd overlapping mix. I truly wonder if just in one tumbler, they just allowed the purple and the green to mix into this sort of brown, but it's not really brown. It's obviously just splashed with those two colors. I am looking for any other sign of a pink for the Frankenberry or a true brown for the Count Chocula. And no, my friends, it is not here. <laughs> as far as the marshmallows go, first of all, they were scant. Sometimes that happens when you open a new box of cereal. But for what it's worth, I didn't see all of the pets go tumbling into my bowl as I had hoped. Let's see if I can even pick them out. Here's the guy for Count Chocula. There he is, some little spider guy. Let's see, a bat. I don't even know if that counts. The bat doesn't seem to be one of the friends. Then we've got, oh yeah, a blue cat. So that must be it. Does the bat count? <laughs> yes, oh, I'm sorry, the bat is Benny the whatever that thing is, the monster flying ghost bat. Thing. So all we're missing now is Scratch, who is the snake. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. this likely is him. So all four of the pets are indeed there. That's good. They're not necessarily very vibrant, but at least they exist. When you get down in a cereal review to do things exist that should exist in the cereal, that's not a great start. <laughs> but I'm gonna put these guys back in the bowl and we are going to try a handful. Let us give a try to Monsters Frightful Friends cereal from General Mills. It is super lousy. I mean, it is absolutely the most straightforward monster cereal. If you had blindfolded me and asked me which monster cereal this is, it, it has to either be Frankenberry or Booberry flavored because this berry flavor is as flat as can be. Now, lousy only in the sense of laziness. I gotta say, as far as taste goes, it is very nice and sweet. It does definitely taste like the regular monster cereals. It's got a really good crunch on it. It's very crispy. So as far as cereals go, it's fine, but what it could have been is really holding it back. Is it possible that when we put milk in it, something different will happen? No, but let's do that anyway to see what happens. Let's try Monster's Frightful Friends cereal in milk. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get more marshmallows on my spoon this time. See if that peps it up at all. Mmm. <laughs> it definitely did. Those marshmallows are pretty good. <laughs> but there's far too few of them in this bowl. And it cannot be overemphasized here. Looking at this bowl of cereal, it is green ones and purple ones and then messy ones for the brown. That's cheating. <laughs> Let's give this one more try. Again, I'm gonna load up on marshmallows because that was pretty tasty. Well, truth be told, I'm torn in two. Truly, this is a very normal, fine cereal. Just on its own, I would give it a two out of five as far as a rating. But the expectations, the hope of what could have been from them mixing four cereals together is just not realized here. And for that reason, I'm going to reduce the rating to a simple one out of five. Should you go buy this cereal? If you like the Monster cereals from General Mills, this is an excellent summation of those cereals. It is not distinctly any of them, nor is it interesting in the variety of flavors it brings. It is the most run-of-the-mill monster cereal that maybe has ever existed. So unless you're really into these Halloween cereals, you can probably pass on this one and get the other one that's your favorite. Well, friends, we have done it all. We talked, we ate, we discovered that if you try to mix too many things together, you're in danger of ending up with nothing at all. And for now, that's enough. If you wanna try today's cereal for yourself, I got mine at Walmart, but I've seen it popping up in most grocery stores in my area, so you should have no trouble finding it in your neck of the woods. Now, listen, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with what cereal we should look at together in a future episode. Until then, never be soggy, my friends. Bye bye